India's nuclear program. Quite often you hear about pressurized heavy water reactors, pressurized heavy water reactors at the same time, prototype fast breeder reactor which is under development at Kalpakkam, Tamil Nadu. Kalpakkam is the place around 70 kilometers south of Chennai and here this prototype fast breeder reactor development is going on for the past several years. What is the difference between this pressurized heavy water reactors and this prototype fast breeder reactors? This I am going to explain through these two pieces. Let us look at the first statement. India's prototype fast breeder reactor development is in view of the fact that India hosts one fourth of the global thorium reserves. Before understanding whether this statement is right or wrong, let me explain first how the nuclear power is generated through pressurized this heavy water reactors. At present, in India, the nuclear power is generated through pressurized heavy water reactors. What is this heavy water? This is nothing but isotope of hydrogen that is deuterium. What is this pressurized? Pressurized means this is kept under the pressurized condition so as to prevent it from boiling. And what is the mechanism in this pressurized heavy water reactors? Here natural uranium is used. Natural uranium. Natural uranium means U-238. It also contains minuscule quantities of U-235. U-238 predominantly more than 99% and it also constitutes minuscule quantities of uranium-235. And here through a neutron. Listen carefully. Through a neutron. The nucleus is a split. The nucleus is a split. The nucleus is a split with a neutron, bombardment with the neutron. Subsequently, several neutrons are released and it sets the chain reaction. And in this process, to slow down the neutrons, to prevent uncontrolled neutron bombardment, this heavy water is used. I told you why pressurized? Because this pressurized conditions prevent the heavy water from boiling. Heavy water is nothing but isotope of this hydrogen that is deuterium. This is the important aspect. In this process, what is released? In this process, energy is released. At the same time, plutonium-239 is produced. In this process, plutonium-239 is produced and at the same time, energy is also produced. We are interested in energy and the product produced in this process is plutonium-239, right? So this is how the nuclear power is generated in the pressurized heavy water reactors. Here, pressurized heavy water reactors basically, they slow down the bombardment of neutrons. And as part of this prototype fast breeder reactor program, that means, at present, the power is produced through this pressurized heavy water reactors. In this process, plutonium-239 is produced and it is to be expanded to stage 2, stage 3. In stage 2, this plutonium-239 plus natural uranium U-238, when these two are used under stage 2, that is part of the fast breeder reactor. More component of plutonium-239 is produced. What is breeder? You get more and more components, more and more material. That is breeder. So, in the prototype of fast breeder reactor, that means if you consider the way how this plutonium-239 is produced as a stage 1, come to the stage 2. In stage 2, Plutonium-239 plus natural uranium that is U-238, these two are combined and it produces more plutonium-239. More quantity of plutonium-239 is produced. 
and in the stage 3 this plutonium 239 that along with thorium 232 when you are combining these two you get energy and this is how India's nuclear program is supposed to function in future and for that purpose prototype fast breeder reactor that experiment is going on at Kalpakkam Tamil Nadu for the past several years. In fact, 20, 25 years old. And still no end in sight. And for that one special purpose vehicle, Bhavini, that is Bharatiya Nabikiya Vijut Nikam Limited was established around 20 years ago. So, as part of this prototype fast breather reactor, the plutonium-239 that is combined with uranium-238, in this process more plutonium-239 is produced. That is nothing but breeder. When more and more material is produced, that is breeder. So, prototype fast breeder reaction or reactor, what happens is more plutonium-239 is produced and Plutonium-239 is combined with thorium and ultimately you get energy. So this is basically three-stage program and the ultimate aim is to use India's thorium reserves. India has got abundant thorium reserves. In the world, around 25% of the thorium reserves are in India. So you can see here roughly one-fourth of the world's thorium reserves. This is the first statement, the right statement. Second, Bharatiya Nabhikiya Vijayatinikam Limited, Bhavini. This is not the subsidiary of Nuclear Power Corporation. In fact, the goal of this Bhavini is to develop prototype fast breeder reactor. The basic goal is to utilize India's thorium reserves. Right, so Bhavini is not a subsidiary. It was established around 20 years ago as a public limited company. And now this Bhavini is different and the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is different. So second statement is wrong. The fast breeder test reactor program is piloted at Kalpakkam in Tamil Nadu. Absolutely correct. So two statements are correct. The answer is B. In fact, if you don't have idea about how India's nuclear power program is intended to go on in the future, you cannot answer this question, right? Basically, to utilize the thorium reserves, this three-stage proposed nuclear power program that is intended. Have a nice day. Thank you.